Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching weekly sectoral analysis. I hope all of you are trying to unwind from your trading week and using this weekend productively. Let's use some few minutes ahead to understand how markets might move in the next week. So first, let's start with the Nifty daily and the weekly time frame charts. First, when I have looked at the weekly time frame charts, what we can see is that there is a big inverted hammer or a shooting star and the size of this candle is pretty large enough in comparison to the previous week's candle. So the, this is the first sign that there is certainly some selling pressure visible at higher levels. But apart from that, there is no other negative sign like in case if there was a negative divergence or something and even the RSI is well below 70. So it's just a sign that yes, some selling pressure is visible at higher levels. If you have a look at the daily time frame chart, then the daily time frame chart shows us one important thing that there is a lower high in RSI and there is a higher high in price. And if you convert this candlestick chart to a line chart over here, then it is even clearly visible. It is even clearly visible. In the weekly time frame chart, if you check, the this is the previous high, this is the current high, and if you check, RSI is given a higher high. But in the daily time frame chart, things are different. So this is clearly a sign that lack of momentum is visible in the daily time frame charts. But the whatever price movement happened in the daily time frame charts, that was obviously seen in the weekly time frame charts, and we got a inverted hammer over here. Now, in terms of support, we need to move to the hourly time frame chart. In hourly time frame chart, there is a small support over here, which is within the zone of 18,550 to 18,540. So, in case if there is an hourly time frame candle, which closes below this particular support band, then there will be a decent possibility that lower levels will be tested in nifty spot. And till what extent? There is a possibility if this breaks, we could test 18,550. And if there is a close below 18,500, which is also a pretty decent support for short term, then the next levels could be 18,450 and 18,400. But all these levels will be tested only in hindsight. First of all, we need to break 18,550 or 18,540, not otherwise. And one more thing we need to understand, whenever there is a good amount of support visible, because this is the first support, then the second support comes up over here at 18,500. The third support is at 18,450 and fourth support is at 18,400. So there are totally four different supports in this much area. So generally there are three to four supports in a very short span of time coming up. It is not easy for the price to go down one way. So even if prices go down, it will be like one leg down, then a little bit up, again one leg down, little bit up. So it will it will be sort of not a vertical downfall, but it will be more of a complex correction if it takes place. That is what we need to understand. If you look at the bank nifty chart, it is not as much as overstretched the way nifty spot was because nifty spot first of all has an inverted hammer and the momentum was very very high when the uptrend was continuing in bank nifty the momentum slowed down itself in the last one month when prices were going sideways and there is also a channel which is going on the upside but if you check properly the candles are very very small in nature if the low of this particular up channel breaks and if we have a big red candle closing below it, then lower levels could be tested in Bank Nifty. And it is important because even Bank Nifty has rallied a lot. A small retracement will certainly help in, you know, cooling off the entire rally and probably making place for new long positions. Let's have a look at the private banking pack. In private banking pack, what has happened in the weekly time frame chart is very, very interesting. That prices have certainly tried to trade above the previous lifetime high. But if you check, they were not successful to give a positive close above it. 
trading above a resistance and closing above a resistance are totally two different things. So there is a decent possibility that there is some sort of selling pressure visible at higher levels. We have two consecutively negative candles. And if you check, there is also a negative pattern visible in the daily time frame charts. Trend is up, but the entire zone is getting narrower and narrower day by day. The day we crack below this, close with a big red candle, some sort of correction in private banking pack will be possible. PSU banks. Now, PSU banks are looking much different than private banking stocks because the private banking stocks have rallied pretty nicely and now they are trying to consolidate. Whereas PSU banking stocks have rallied, collapsed, and then after that they have not been able to rally. You just have a look at SBI. SBI, it went up, consolidated, came down, again it rallied, again it's coming down. But the momentum is not as good as, as a private bank such as Axis Bank or something. Let's have a look at Bank of Baroda. Bank of Baroda, again, it went up, came down, tried to went, go up again, but could not surpass this high and currently it's consolidating. So as per my analysis, uh, we need to keep a watch on Bank of Baroda, Canada Bank and SBI that the current drop which has happened in last one or two days, if it gets arrested and doesn't break this particular low, then there will be a decent chance that these same three stocks, when the market revives, could be one of the, you can say, winners as a swing long trade on the upside. But it will take few days. It's not going to happen very, very soon. Metal pack. Now, metal pack in weekly time frame charts, we can only see that the price has given a big red candle. And one thing is over here, there is a hammer and then we have an inverted hammer. So uh, it's very difficult to assess this situation and, you know, come to some conclusion. But the daily time frame chart is much vocal about what it's trying to do. From this point onwards, there is a rally, there is a correction. Again, there is a rally, again a correction, again a rally. And now, again, it's trying to come down. But in doing so, what has been established is a very good pattern in Dow theory. I'll try to explain what I'm trying to say over here is that this is the first high. From this high to the next high, see, the next high is higher than the previous high. Then again, the new low is higher than the previous low. So now what has happened over here is there is a couple of negative candles. If again the prices drop, but this time they make a new low which is higher than the previous low, then there will be a possibility of a decent swing trade in metal stocks. As of now, it is not visible, but we need certainly need to keep our eyes open on. All right. Let's go to the auto pack, which has been a vertical rally recently. Vertical rally, stock, uh, the, sorry, the index almost near the resistance of Fibonacci 161.80 percent extension. And you can see RSI also is well above 70. Even the daily time frame chart, RSI is signaling the danger zone. And it's time probably to book partial profits or trail your stop losses. If your stops get hit, just get out of the stock. There is just one stock where I had shared my positive view on was Ashok Leland. I think in the last couple of videos and even on my Twitter handle. And it is rallying pretty nicely right now. And this is a good spot probably to book partial profits and then hold on this stock with your trailing stops. IT pack. Now, IT pack, if you check properly, initially it tried to rally. It has been fairly successful by closing down this gap. And again, it's trying to come down. Now, let's take your attention to the daily time frame chart. In the daily time frame chart, vertical rally, gap is closed, the trend is flat. And again, this is the same support which is visible in the weekly time frame chart. If this support breaks on a closing basis, then yes, it could create problems. But when I went through all the stocks, especially the two leaders, which are Infosys, just have a look at this chart, looking very, very weak. 
was not even able to close this gap. Second stock is TCS. Even TCS is not looking that great. But there are two stocks which are stronger than the leaders, which are currently the Wipro. The way it is shaping up, it's better than Infosys and TCS. And the second one is Coforge. Coforge is also looking pretty good enough. See the weekly ramp frame, it's much better than the uh, Infosys or TCS. Currently, the stock is consolidating. It is not at all interesting. I can completely understand the way you are thinking right now because it has come down. It is consolidating. There is no sign of a big red candle or a momentum visible. But if the consolidation continues for next few days and then if there is a decent breakout on the upside in the shorter term time frame charts, this could result into a decent swing trade. Finance pack. Finance pack, I guess it's already acting pretty smartly and it's trying to consolidate its previous gains and once I guess the consolidation comes to an end, the way it is happening in the weekly chart as well, I think the next move could be on the upside. FMCG pack. FMCG pack, one of the leaders in the current market scenario, but probably a good time to correct and come down, you can see a higher high in daily time frame chart prices and a lower high in RSI. This is a classical negative divergence. And the stock, it should be coming down or going at least sideways for a consolidation is ITC. Dabar is one particular stock which has recently given a pretty strong breakout in the daily time frame charts. In the weekly charts, it's looking all right. It's not bad, but not that great. But in the daily time frame chart, it has given a breakout. And currently, as a swing trader, it is certainly not very, very interesting. But it is consolidating. After a consolidation, if it gives a breakout in the short term time frame charts, you could probably use this opportunity as a swing trader. Consumption pack. Consumption pack, no nonsense over here. Very strong uptrend. Very strong momentum. RSI well above 70. And the prices are trying to correct and they should continue correcting or consolidating. If you are holding any stocks in consumption theme, try to trail your stop losses. If your stops get hit, just get out of it and wait for better opportunities when the risk reward ratio is in your favor. Infra pack. Infra pack is in a very strong uptrend, has recently surpassed its previous high. If you check the daily time frame charts, there is one or two small negative candles. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, there could be some consolidation. But after the consolidation is over, if it doesn't break this particular level, then the rally will continue on the upside. The support should hold on basically. Pharma pack. Pharma pack has surprised everyone because the way it had collapsed over here and the way it has come up right now is very surprising and commendable. After this rally, probably some sort of consolidation is possible. And after the sideways move, if the next up move comes on the upside, then you could use that momentum on the upside to initiate a new swing trade. And the stock for that, according to me, will be Sun Pharma. It has shot up right now. And this one candle has even given a rise to a short term volatility. But the volatility will come down if it consolidates. And then if it gives a breakout in the short term time frame charts, like the early out of the two early time frame charts, you could probably enter into a new fresh swing trade. Reality pack. Reality pack is in a very strong uptrend, pretty much overstretched. And you can see negative candles visible over here. Probably a good time to trail your stop losses if your stops get hit. Good time to come out of this sector, sit at sidelines, assess and re-enter the sector once the risk reward ratio is favorable. But do not exit your stock before your trailing stop is hit. Do not give a premature exit to your existing trades. Now, PSE sector. Now, there was one of my videos where one of my subscribers of my YouTube channel had clearly asked me that if I could cover PSE sector over here. And I told that person that I'll be thinking about it and maybe we'll start and I've given it a thought and the way PSE sector is performing, it's really commendable 
and now i'll be adding even psc sector analysis in my weekly sectoral videos so a uh, thing is very clear the recent short term resistance has, has been surpassed by the candle strong uptrend and you can see a fight between bulls and bears happening over here because the day of thursday was an inverted candle which was bearish and the friday candle is a bullish candle but according to me this is consolidation which might continue for next few days considering the entire situation of market and once this consolidation is over if this support level is not broken the trend will continue on the upside mid cap a mid cap index has shot up very very fast right now and we have a big long legged doji rsi above 70 and couple of negative candles over here and the daily chart rsi is well above 70 it is at 86 87 probably even 88 good time to book partial profits and even trail your stop losses if your stops get hit get out of the sector wait for more favorable times when the risk reward is favorable for a long trade but do not exit your trades prematurely at times rallies uptrends downtrends can surprise you and the majority of the money is always made when things are skewed on one side do not forget this trend follows always make the biggest money right and uh, just to assess the entire situation of the market especially nifty do trade less and be stock specific not just sector specific also be stock specific like in case when i told that metal pack can outperform and if it does do not try to enter in all the metal pack stocks you will have to be very very precise even the it pack i showed two stocks were negative two stocks were positive so you guys will have to be very very precise which sector can outperform or underperform and within those sector which stock will underperform or outperform all right so i hope this video has helped you to understand that and try to share this video if you find that it has been helpful to you so it can be helpful to others also trade well stay safe